Minecraft is one of the biggest video games of all time, mostly thanks to gaming content creators, who are no doubt one of the biggest reasons this simple block game was able to reach such a large audience. One of the largest niches in Minecraft content creation just so happens to take place on the largest Minecraft server in history, Hypixel. With a rich history, spanning nearly as long as Minecraft itself, and a culture of players and games unlike anywhere else in the Minecraft community, Hypixel has its fair share of content creators both big and small. However, like many creators, there are also a few Minecraft YouTubers who have completely deleted their channels, leaving little to no trace of their existence aside from a few archives, luckily still available. Today, we're taking a look at 5 Hypixel YouTubers who have completely disappeared. Oh, and by the way, YouTube has been really demotivating for me recently, so to stop me from disappearing as well, a sub to the channel would be great. I already don't upload much, so seeing whenever I do upload won't affect you too much, and it would greatly help me. Anyways, back to the video. First, we have Wemboo. An icon of the new gen Hypixel era, and a fan favorite amongst the server's player base. The creator quickly blew up during Hypixel's spike in popularity after making videos for several years. Although it was easy to see that he had genuinely interesting video ideas, such as making a program that would help anyone recolor any texture pack using artificial intelligence, using cursed texture packs for Bedwars, which quickly became a trend thanks to his idea, and even hacking on some of the best Bedwars players in the world. On his own private server. Please don't hack on Hypixel. Please, please, please. I already got into a lot of trouble for a particular video. Wemboo quickly started gaining views, although that's only one end of the story. When many people clicked on for his interesting ideas, they stayed due to his goofy, self deprecating humor, destructive nature, and well timed editing. With this, his video started to reach millions of people and landed him at nearly 300,000 subscribers. Although he was very happy with it, he knew he could do far more. With that, he moved his Bedwars content onto a second channel called Woob, where they became more low-effort side content. His new main channel content would be aimed at the general Minecraft audiences more interested in stuff like SMPs more than Hypixel. Things were going well for Wemboo. He was able to reach 600,000 subscribers, join the finale of the fourth season of the Lifesteal SMP, one of the biggest phenomenons in Minecraft YouTube history, and even be featured in a Tom Minute video. However, one day in Wemboo's Discord server, he posted a vague message. Shortly after that, it was gone. Everything was gone. His Discord server, Twitter accounts, YouTube channel, everything vanished within a matter of minutes. People started panicking, wondering what happened. Did his email get hacked? Was Wemboo safe? What had to happen for all of this to be deleted? Luckily, they'd soon get an answer. Unfortunately, it was far from a great outcome. Although Wemboo was safe, he had gotten into an argument with his parents due to him focusing on his content so much that he got nearly all failing grades in school. One way or another, the argument ended with him having to delete all of his socials, including his beloved YouTube channel. Despite what had happened, Wemboo went down in the list of Minecraft's most popular creators, and even came back on a new channel several months after. Now he's back at almost half a million subscribers, although little has been archived of his old Hypixel content. In pretty much any competitive video game, montages are sure to be expected in every area of the community. With Hypixel though, they were very few and far between. The ones that did exist at the time were mediocre. They weren't very high quality, either in clips or in editing. However, one creator stood from the crowd. Cool Dude 951 Although the video started off as glorified clip dumps, he quickly got good at making montages and started releasing more and more of them as time went on. Releasing relatively consistently, with a montage releasing roughly every three weeks and gameplay videos in between, Cool Dude quickly became known in the community for his incredible skill, not just in Bedwars with him being a good PvPer and one of the few people at the time to know how to godbridge, but also for his skills as an editor. In 2021, he had about 60,000 subscribers and millions of views on his channel overall. However, strange news would soon be brought to his viewers. On January 5, 2021, his channel was deleted without warning. On Twitter, Cool Dude had posted the following statement. The Cool Dude 951 channel has been discontinued by manufacturer. Good night. The entire Hypixel community was in shock. When asked about the deletion of his channel, Cool Dude simply gave two reasons. One was that school was simply more important to him, very understandable. Second was that he was receiving a lot of hate for supporting a YouTuber who was exposed for being a PDF file. Since his channel and Twitter are no longer up, it's difficult to gauge his true stance on the situation. However, whether he was truly supportive or not, 
he was attacked for it. When interviewed by former Hypixel newscaster Lego Maestro, he simply said the following, Thank you for everything. Don't send hate, it's never worth it. Although the channel is now nothing more than a memory, archives of some of Cool Dude's most popular montages still exist on the platform today, and his influence in the modern Minecraft community is still apparent, with new montages being inspired by his editing style are still popping up on the platform years later. Sometime after leaving the YouTube space, a player named Reindeer found him in a ranked Bedwars lobby, which shows that Cool Dude still somewhat enjoyed playing the game, at least for a little bit after. Even if his channel is gone, it truly won't be forgotten. In the early days of the Bedwars community, a legendary bridging method would be theorized. Though few thought it would be impossible to master, many still attempted to see the human limit of Minecraft bridging. Although there are thousands of people who can do this method today, myself included, god bridging, also known as moonwalking at the time, which today is its own individual bridging method, took the Minecraft community by storm. As people started to learn this incredibly difficult method, several creators had quickly become known for it, one being misdemeanors. Because of this, he was certainly not bad at it. He quickly rose to fame, becoming one of the most popular bridgers on the platform because of his immense skill. Misdemeters was also especially competent at PvP, at one point even being number one for classic duels wins, and having nearly 40,000 wins today. He quickly became a well-known member of the community, even to people who didn't watch his content. So, the Hypixel duels community knew who I was. Not just from YouTube, but I would lobby sit in those lobbies all the time, and I just talked to people. So I was I was really well known in the duels community. The Bedwars community, people knew me um, because I was pretty decent at it, and because I knew how to bridge. It wasn't necessarily one or the other, it's because I was able to combine PvP and being able to bridge fast, because you know I had that experience from the duels community, and then I also knew how to bridge. So people people thought that that came together well in the Bedwars scene. Misdemeanors had over 16,000 subscribers. However, soon things went downhill. After being in the spotlight, Mist felt far too limited as a creator in the modern content space. He started to pour too much time into his channel and got attention from people he had no intention of being shared to. People knew misdemeanors, but what they didn't know was the person behind the screen. Mist deleted his channel shortly after. When did you start having thoughts of deleting your channel? Like when did it like initially pop up and was it like a, an immediate answer to it? So I deleted my channel kind of on an impulse. There was a while at the uh, at the end of my uh, end of my time that I started uh, really questioning if I wanted to continue doing YouTube or not. If this is where the route I really wanted to take, you know, I was uh, I started having those thoughts whenever I was sixteen. So you know, that's kind of whenever you're in that in that transitional period in your life where you know you're starting to figure out which direction you want to go. I uh, I was like, you know, I am really good at this, really good at Minecraft, anyways. The YouTube side, I was okay, and I just I had to make a decision like, is this what I'm going to do for a long time, or am I going to stop? And it took me a long time to make that decision. I was still kind of off and on making videos, throwing some stuff out there that people could watch, and I just. And talking to people, I realized that I just really didn't enjoy all of the attention. I could tell that it wasn't real attention, you know what I mean? Like, they, they didn't know who I am, like, as a person. Not misdemeanors, but me. They were giving misdemeanors the credit. And it's like, I don't I don't, I don't, don't really like that, you know? It's, it, it seems like fake attention to me. A couple months went, got, went by me feeling like that, and uh, I said, screw it one morning. And I just put it on my channel, I just deleted it. I was like, I'm, I'm done with it, I'm, I'm gonna stop, you know, pussyfooting around, and I'm just gonna delete it. He never regretted his decision but sometimes had video ideas that he wished he made before his channel was deleted. No, you know, I never regretted it. So sometimes I wish that like I uh, I would have made this video or I would have made this video. I, or I have a good idea for a video, but I never regretted doing it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I understand that I have a good idea, but I also know that I can't make the video anymore. It's like, I wish I would have made the video whenever I still had the channel. It's not like I wish I still had the channel so I can make the video. Around a year ago, however, he came back to YouTube with a new channel. Unfortunately, this one didn't see as much success as his old one, and was abandoned after only three uploads. Although definitely a strange case, Misdemeanor still remains a well-known figure in the Hypixel community, getting recognized semi-consistently in lobbies, and still plays Minecraft to this very day. In early 2021, a Hypixel player named Jonah Ryan decided to log onto the server as usual to play with his friends. Though for some reason, he had the urge to do something differently. After recording a few clips of himself playing Skywars alongside another player named Sunny Shine, he booted up Adobe Premiere Pro for the very first time and started to edit the clips together. Although the video was far from amazing, it showed that he genuinely had a lot of fun with the editing process. Thanks to his passion for content creation, he helped form a content creator group alongside three of his friends, 
Sunshine, Rulé, and Zen69. This gave him a way to always have someone to make a video with, and a brand for his channel. The group was known as Hikage, and would go on to make various other videos such as a ladder clutching tutorial, recreating all of Dream's Minecraft Manhunt plays and Bed Wars, and reviewing Bedless Noob's drag clicking mouse. While all of these videos did great, and clearly showcased Jonah finding his own unique editing style, one of these videos stood out from the rest, a magnum opus if you will, in his catalog. Mission Kill Bedless Noob one day in April of 2021, Jonah found himself in a lobby on stream with a god-bridging king, Bedless Noob, and dueled him several times in an epic cinematic masterpiece that took over 400 hours to make. The video ended up exploding in popularity, instantly gaining him millions of views and thousands of subscribers. Soon, he was known as the editing king in the Hypixel space, with barely anyone who could compete with him. Although he was able to continue capitalizing on his popularity, he soon found himself in a pit of demotivation. As a result of his perfectionism, spending too much time worrying about his next video, spending too much time in the editing softwares he had grown sick of, Jonah's mental health declined rapidly. After a few videos, he made an announcement saying he would rebrand his channel into a second channel and move on to lower effort general Minecraft videos, which was a much needed breath of fresh air for him and his friends. After a few months went by, he made the unfortunate decision to delete his channel right before hitting 100,000 subscribers. In his head, the channel was taking too much of a mental toll on him, pouring thousands of hours into making sure every single video was perfect instead of just enjoying the process. After a while, he re-uploaded all of his old content into a compilation on his new channel, and left the account inactive just two months after. It should also be known that Jonah privated this compilation and all of his other previous videos, and also used to have a bunch of ASMR videos that he privated before blowing up, effectively meaning that he deleted his catalog three entire times. As of today, none of the other members of Hikage have made content since. Although he stopped making content a long time ago, his influence on the Minecraft YouTube scene is still present, with many people taking inspiration from his editing style even until today. A Finnish YouTuber by the name of Trix started a channel in the middle of 2015. His first video was a simple legacy Minecraft montage. However, a few years later, just like everyone else on this list, Trix started to play Hypixel. It didn't take much more time for the creator to begin uploading videos learning how to bridge as well, and the channel quickly began to gain notoriety for over-editing videos with memes. One mainstay of the channel was a little felt sculpture said to have godlike powers named Bob the Penguin, who eventually had his own channel made for him, although little remains of it today. Perhaps one of the most popular trends Trix ended up being known for was the High CPS series, in which he showed mice and keyboards getting insanely high clicks per second. All seemed well, until Hypixel content began to decline as a whole. Trix thought that more money and notoriety could be made simply by pushing out memes instead of Minecraft content he was known for. Thus, his channel became flooded with videos like Peppa Pig Top 100 Ohio Moments, which the viewers of his original content didn't seem to appreciate. It seems like Hasbro Entertainment didn't seem to appreciate the switch in content either, and sent several copyright strikes to the Trix channel. Now, some of you may be wondering, wouldn't that just make Trix's videos not make any money anymore? Which you'd be right about, if I was talking about a copyright claim. You see, claims work differently on YouTube than strikes. A copyright claim simply means that whatever money would be made on the video would go to the given company who sent the claim. A strike, on the other hand, would be a permanent mark on the channel, and once a channel gets three, it's game over. Given that Trix had more than enough videos for Hasbro to send strikes to his channel, it wasn't looking good at all for Trix. And thus, both the Trix and Bob the Penguin channels became the only ones on the list to be removed from YouTube involuntarily. In a community and world where nothing is permanent, it's always important to savor and appreciate everything and anything presented to you. All good things must come to an end at some point, and content creation is absolutely no different. With the Hypixel and Minecraft communities dwindling by the day, creators' channels have been dropping like flies, whether their channels remain inactive or permanently removed from the platform. So if there's anything you should take away from this, show appreciation for the creators you watch. Remember that despite you only seeing a small portion of their lives, they're also real people with lives to live. Even if the creators mentioned in today's list no longer make content, their influences and effects are still seen in YouTubers and streamers alike today.